What's going on guys? Welcome back to 100% Chelsea and welcome to your match preview, opposition preview for the Europa League final. I'm with Robbie, mate. How are you? No introduction really needed here. Looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. You know, even though there's been all the, you know, negativity around it, as we all know, you know, the, the way they've handled the fans on this has been terrible, but we'll be there. You know what I mean? Now, now, now I'm just focused on getting out there and just enjoying it because I'm like, you know what? It's been so negative. Let's just go and enjoy it. Mm. Well, it's a final. This, this is, it's, I think that's what it comes down to. I mean, we'll, we'll talk about that, the fact it's in Azerbaijan first. Yeah. So I think that's definitely that's something which we, we touch on briefly with you. But uh, I mean, what are your thoughts on UEFA and why they put it over there and then made the excuse of, well, you know. It's only there for one it. reason, we know, it's the money. Yeah. You know, I, I, f I feel a bit sorry for um, the people in Azerbaijan because, listen, they just want to put on a good tournament. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you're going to do a final somewhere, you've got to put it somewhere. This, we're able to get to. I don't even think. I don't even think it's the distance. I think it's the fact that you've got. To, it's got to be accessible. So you, it needs to be loads of flights there, so people can get there. Now they knew from the beginning. There's only like one flight a day that's coming from London. Yeah, one direct flight on a Monday. Yeah, and now you've got two. You've got two flight. You've got two teams from London. That's made it even worse. You know, it's just too. It's just too difficult to get to the, the logistics. You know, so it's not the fault of the people in Azerbaijan, but UEFA should not have held it there, in my opinion. Mm. Because this is a final now that most of the Arsenal fans and Chelsea fans can't get to. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we've, we've sent back, there was, what, 6,000 tickets yeah. all in for each club. You sent back 1.4K, if I'm Something correct. like that, yeah. We've sent it back about the same, so it's ridiculous in terms yeah, of the yeah. fact... Well, it's no, hold on, it was 6K together, wasn't it? Yeah. So there's literally only been about 2,000 fans actually in a 68,000 city stadium. Yeah, I mean, it would still be... Listen, I've spoken to lots of uh, Arsenal fans that from Eastern Europe, because we like any, any time, like for instance, when we played in the Ukraine, um, when we played in, in uh, Azerbaijan before, because we played Karabakh, uh, first game of the Europa League. Yeah, as well, yeah. There's lots of Arsenal fans from Eastern Europe there. So I'm sure that there's still going to be a massive Arsenal contingent and a massive Chelsea contingent, because you, you'll have lots of fans from there as well. But it's still some of those diehard fans that go and watch you know, go to Stamford Bridge every week, go to the Emirates every week, that would love to be there for a final, that have just given up because it's just too difficult to get to. Yeah. I've spoken to loads of fans, they're like, Robbie, it's going to cost me like three grand, it's the yeah. summer. I've got to go away with my family and my kids and stuff like that. Yeah. I can't justify to my missus spending three grand to go to a final for two days. Mm. I've spoken to other fans who said, I could get a flight on the Monday, but I can't come back until the following week on the Tuesday or Wednesday. Right? So it's out of the question. Or you've got to go via Georgia. They, I saw something yeah. where they were saying, oh, you go via Georgia. And you can take the sleeper train. And then you can hours. take a 12 hour sleeper train, 12 hours from Georgia. That just shows you how far this place is. To get there, it's too difficult, man. So this is a final. And a final has to be accessible. And I just don't think this is. But listen, we're going now. Mm. So I just want to go now that I'm going. I'm one of the lucky ones that are yeah. able to get there. I just want to go and enjoy myself. Yeah. And I will enjoy myself if we win it. Well, I mean, look, I, mean, I, I am one of the fortunate ones that's going out there as well. But yeah. I'd like to thank Kia for that because they're the ones that are sending mm. like, like, send yeah, me out. that little. Well, uh, uh, I know, I was very lucky. Send them out, well, you yeah, know. Kia, <laughs> oh, you get plenty of brand deals. Let me have this we one. We haven't for this one. We ain't got nothing for this. <laughs> well, no, Kia, but, um, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, Kia is sending me out, obviously. Uh, Lewis yeah. and the others are going to be covering it from here. But let's get into the game straight yeah. away. Chelsea, Arsenal, both teams in that run in for the Premier League. Both were crap. We were just a little bit better, which means that we got the Champions League spot. Yeah. How important is this game to Arsenal and to get that Champions League I spot? think it's more important to us than it is to you guys, if I'm being fair. I mean, you guys are already um, in the Champions League for next season. We need to get in the Champions League. As we can see even now, with a lot of players getting linked with Arsenal, I think who we get out of some of those players that are being linked is dependent upon us being in the Champions League. Who so, have you been linked with that would be so important for you to get Champions League? Well, there's, there's many, many players we've been linked with, like, you know, Zayic. We've been linked with everybody that's going. Yeah. But the calibre of players you get does depend on whether you get into the Champions League or not, because, you know, you've got more money to spend, you can offer them Champions League football. So it's absolutely essential, really, that we get into that Champions League. And, um, you know, I think we, you know, you guys are already in it. We're not. Then, of course, I think our players are going to be motivated by this whole thing that with Mkhitaryan, where he's not able to 
or he's chosen not to go to Azerbaijan because of the problems between them and Armenia. <clears throat> I think a lot of the players are really pumped for that. You know what I mean? They're like, we need to go and win this for Mickey because he's been playing in the tournament all along. And, and do you know what? Even though sometimes he's, he's been a bit of an in and out player this season, mm. he can be a very important player at times. And um, I get the feeling he might have started in this game. So he's going to be a big miss, but I think the players are going to want to win it for Mkhitaryan as well. Mm. As, you know, so I, I think we're really pumped and really driven for this. Plus as well, Arsenal have not won a European trophy since 1994, which is, I know, it's terrible, you know? And uh, We won a few in that time. You, you have, you, you won the Champions League before us. We, were, of course, were in the Champions League final. Um, 2006, Paris. 2006, Paris, I was there. And that was horrible, you know what I mean? We, we went 1-0 oh, up, didn't win it in the end. So this is an opportunity for us to win a, a, a European um, trophy. And so I think it's, it's massive for us. Yeah. Bigger for us than it is for you, if I'm being honest. I'd agree with that. I, I think, I, I mean, I, I like to say that Mickey says it's a big tin of baked beans that you'd be winning. Huh? I, I like to say it's a big, it's a big, tin, of, it's big tin of Heinz, that's all it is. Well, big tin of Heinz, but we've beaten you in some recent FA Cups and things like that. So again, you know, um, we used to play in you guys in the final. Yeah. I think, you know, we played twice a season. You beat us at um, your place. You I thought that, us, that was a close game. I thought we played really well in that game. But, you know, um, mm. you got the win over us. At our place, I thought we destroyed you. Yeah, you did. You know, um, so, but it's neutral. I'm worried about Azar because he does always turn up against us. He's his last game, so yeah. He's his last game and I, I've always been really impressed with mm. him as a player. He's one of them players. There's certain players for me in the Premier League that you can't hate. He's one of them, you know what I mean? Because he's got so much ability and you just have, you just have to admire him, you know mm. what I mean? So we got to stop him. I think if we can stop him, I think we've got a chance of winning that big time. Well, I, th yeah, I think we, we rely heavily on Hazard. And I think because this is a good, might be, well, 99% certain to be his last, last game. game. Yeah. You know, he's pretty he's much off, certain. Right? He's yeah. off. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I know. I'm, 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 just getting, I'm getting used to no, it. I'm getting used to it. He's all, it's, oh, it's horrible. I can help you with that because we've had a lot of that over the years. Yeah, you know no, I mean? But I mean, look, look Hazard, Hazard guy, obviously, this will be his last game. He'll really turn up. But we've gone, th let's go through key danger men now. Now, obviously, mm. the obvious ones. Aubameyang, Lacazette. Now, we, you made me pick someone a bit less obvious for you. Yeah. Give me someone to look out for who's a little bit less obvious than, you know, your front two. Yeah, well, less obvious than our front two, I think, will be somebody like a Torreira because um, I think he's going to have a job to play in trying to stop Hazard. So, and he can be a very effective player on his day. You know I mean, he's, he, he started the season really well, had a little bit of a dip. He's come back quite strong and he's looked good in some of the big games. So, I think... He's part of his job is going to be to try, and it's very difficult to do, but try and stop um, Hazard. So I think he could be a player with a vital role to play. Mm. Um, also, maybe that player could be Czech. <laughs> is, he, is he going to be starting? Is he going to be him or I, Leno? Yeah, I, I, I personally would start Leno because I, I, I just think that I don't think Czech will let us down. He's been done very well in the Europa League as well, but I just feel that. If he is going to join Chelsea as a sporting director, he's looking after himself, which I have no problem with, and I don't blame him for because he's a Chelsea legend and he's got his future to think about. But then I then think about, well, then we need to look after us. And our best keeper is Leno. Czech's been good in this tournament, but when it comes to playing the ball out from the back and stuff like that, Leno's miles better than him, distribution and that. So I would start with him. But I do think, though, that if Czech does start, which I think he will, he also is going to not want to go out without winning that trophy. He's going to want to go out on a high, a bit like Hazard as well. So I think he could be a player that could be an important player for us in, in, yeah. in there, in there well, as I mean, well. Check, check in finals and European finals. He's very experienced, he's isn't he? He's, he's, yeah. He went the right way for every single penalty in, uh, in Munich, whether yeah. right in the 2008 he's finals He's not been well. good on penalties for us. Uh, I think well, he saved one. Uh, that's, that's, but, that's, um, that's down to big Christoph Ehrlich on, mate. <laughs> a big dog. But, you know, uh, listen, if... if I, I would go Leno, but I've got no problem with him starting because he's a very experienced player in finals. In you know, just overall, he's a leader. So you know, I got I can't, I can't hate on Czech. You know what I mean? So, but he could be an important player in that game. Who's what's the eleven going to be then? So you're going Leno? I don't think it will be Leno. I would go Leno. I think, and then we'll I think we'll have the back three. Um, back of, three. Uh, we'll have a back three um, of Monreal, Koscielny, and Socrates. Then I think uh, we'll have two wing backs, uh, Maitland Nars on one side and Kalasinac on the other. Uh, Torreira and Xhaka, I think, will be the ones with a holding. 
Ozil, hopefully Ozil. If he turns up again, he's another player that can be major in that game, but he has to turn up. We've seen him disappear in some of these games, but he's been, you know, he finished the season off not too bad. And then the big two up front, they're the ones that can really hurt you. Lacazette and Aubameyang, they'll be pumped. Lacazette, he's been excellent in this tournament. Um, and Aubameyang, you know, he scored a hat-trick in the, you know, against Valencia. He scored the, the all-important um, third goal against Valencia in the first game as well. Golden boot winner. He's been on fire. I think, you know, I, I think the stage is set for Aubameyang to do something in this final. He is a big-time player. He is. He's a superb centre-forward. Yeah, big-game player yeah. as well. Steps up in those big games. Um, so I, I, I'm really mm. infused at seeing. If we can get the ball up to him, I think, you know, he can do a lot of damage. But it's... Mm. It's a close game, man. It's two, t you know what I mean? I can't aim away was thinking maybe Eintracht might have been a better game because, you know. But... Because you would have won it definitely and definitely got Champions League football. Is that right? <laughs> I, I, know, I know you too well, Robbie. I've known you for four we, years Listen, now, we, we, we as well have done it the hard way in this tournament. We really have. I mean, you know, we had to beat Napoli in the semi final, yeah. sorry, in the quarter final, Valencia in the semi final. We did it convincingly. We beat both of them over both legs, home and away. So. Let's ask this guy and just deal with the final now, but it won't be easy. Go on, give me score prediction then. 3-1. 3-1? You really see I'm, I'm going to go 1-1 one, one and pens. Ooh. I, I, I want it to be tasty. Well, we're right? not bad on pens, actually. It, but, I mean, we're losing to no, on pens I don't want it. Winning on pens, I however. I don't want it to go to penalties. Please, no, no, no. no. Checks, check. checks and oh. goal. <laughs> Lovely. Agent check. What will happen? <laughs> you, you'll concede the last penalty. We'll win. Whoever scores runs off. No, he'll rip no, off the no, Arsenal no. shirt, Chelsea shirt underneath. Come <laughs> join the celebrations. And then he'll go down to sport and director to return after that. No, he'll go down to sports director after that with, with a load of Arsenal fans chasing him. <laughs> 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 oh, no, listen, Robbie. Nice I guess you're out there, aren't you? Of course, man. We're yeah. there, man. We're there. Right, Looking well, forward to it. Obviously, listen. Uh, I won't have, have a Kia car driving me around, but I'll be there. Well, listen, thank you, Kia, for sending me out there. Thank you, Dugout, and thank you, UEFA Europa League. Dugout as well. Yeah, I know, right? They've got the sponsors <laughs> racking up, really. <laughs> listen, guys, make sure you check out everything while I'm out in Baku. Lewis is going to be over here with the lads. We're going to be doing some coverage. I'm going to be doing it with Cheek Sport as well. We're all going to be over there. So, Robbie's going to be over there. There's loads of different content across both channels. So make sure you check out both. Obviously, make sure you check out ours, though, because we need to hit that 100K. Uh, that's kind of the plan. Um, Good luck with that, man. Oh, mate, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, listen, best of luck in the final. See, see, I'm being nice. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the best team win. Subscribe, take care. We'll see you later. Ta-ra.